Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Stephen McCoy, and you are listening and watching Sessions with Stephen. And today, we have a superstar in the building. Uh, you might have seen me with him at the Harlem premiere um, for Amazon's new hit show, Hit Series. I'm so excited about it that he's here to talk about more in depth, Mr. Robert Rashad. Hey. What the fuck is going on? What's going on? Yes, Harlem is on Amazon Prime. Watch that shit. I'm great. Yo, abs is out. Everybody see all my stuff. We're number two on Amazon right now. The number two show on all of Amazon. Got to get to number one. Uh, shameless plug real quick. Everybody be asking why I look so young. I'm 40 years old. I be getting carded at every place I go. Your bar, your grandmama's house. I'm getting carded. It's right here. I use this stuff called Elite. You can go to the website, epmproducts.com. Um, there's also this other one. It's called Allure. They go great together. Get both of them. Um, and this is Robert Richard, and it is freaking hump day. What is going on? See, this is why I love this guy. This is why I love this guy. <laughs> Welcome to the show again. <laughs> what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Well, yeah. So you what? You're still on the East Coast right now, or what? I'm still on the East Coast right now. I will be back in LA. I think maybe February with the Grammy. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Is it freezing out there or what? It's cold it is. Shit now, like. It is. And, the, you know, last, normally every winter I'm always chasing summer. So I'm never around, you know. But Do you know what that? Do you know what that's called? Do you know what a person is who chases summer? Do you know what that's, that person's called? Uh-oh, what is it? It's called a, a heliophile. That's what it's called. I got to drop a little education on you guys. It's called a heliophile. I definitely have to because I haven't, you know, researched that. But <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. You play Sean on Harlem. Um, you know, your, your entrance with a, a huge performance. The, the behind is out, you know. Um, this wasn't your first time actually playing the stripper either, actually. Not, bro, they try to typecast me now. They be like, yo, listen, on, Rob got abs. Here. Come on now. <laughs> Rob's rips. Rob can dance. I mean, everybody loves somebody who can dance. So when yeah. they ask me, I'm just like, listen, I ain't no punk. I'll go up there. I'll dance for the ladies. You know what I mean? Make it, make it special. And it was kind of cool because, you know, like, it's Megan's show. And they had a couple of jokes in there, which was great. We had a huge payoff for the audience. I got to work with her again. Yeah. But ultimately, I'm with Grace Byers now. Grace is on Empire. She's I'm amazing. She's great. beautiful. Yeah. And our chemistry was insane. It was like, I mean, if you guys watch the scenes, even when I'm dancing for her, when she's like looking at me and I'm looking at her, it's like that like professional chemistry is already there. You know, I love her and all that stuff. Um, shout out to, 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 to her, her husband, Trace or whatever. But, um, but yeah, the show is just phenomenal. And, you know, I'm just hoping that my character gets to interact with all the girls. I have a great, great, great uh, relationship with um, uh, Shaniqua. Um, her and I just been chopping up and talking. And then honestly, what's funny is that I'm actually uh, Ty, who plays, who's played by Jerry. I'm her bartender. So she comes in the bar a lot and talks to me. We didn't see that in these episodes, but I'm thinking it's going to get brought back in the second episode, in the next season. So we'll see how that transpires. I have to ask, because um, you are a person that's very comfortable with your body. Um, mm -hmm. Has it always been that case? Have you always been comfortable with your body? Well, you know, I think it's because, like, you know, I played a lot of sports, like, growing up. And, you know, when you're playing sports, it's kind of like, you know, if you're playing basketball, it's shirts and skins. That's how you, like, separate one team from the other when you're living, like, in, you know, you know, doing practice and that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of used to being, like, all right, I'll, I'll go skins just in sports. And then in the training that I did for acting, it was a lot of push-ups. I actually run a class right now, and I have everybody in my class doing push-ups, doing planks. Um, it's important. And, you know, like your body's like it's part of the instrument. So, you know, I started getting asked a lot when I was like in my teenage years, like, hey, Rob, would you do this scene with your shirt off? And it just seems like every producer, every writer is like, all right, we'll, we'll get Rob to take his shirt off at some point. I'm like, all right, it must be, it must be my contract. But, um, <laughs> but, 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 you know, it's, it's, it, to me, it's all fun. It's like everybody at home is sitting back with their popcorn, their family, watching television, eating chocolate, drinking, whatever. And, you know, to see me pop up there and to see how much I've grown, I think a lot of it for everybody is not so much that, that my shirt is off, but that they've seen me for such a long time because I've been in the business for 
what, like 26 years now? Yeah. So I think that for everyone, it's like, wow, he really, really like grew up and like took care of mys myself. And people know that I'm a big health advocate. It's kind of fun now because when I walk to the airport, everyone's like, yo, highway fit, highway fit. People know that I do like my workout stuff, which is basically like 10 minutes. It is great. Um, but I think that, you know, I'm just comfortable, you know, being the type of man who's just like, yo, let's, let's, you know, take the shirt off and then we'll, we'll figure it out. I know you said that you have uh, oil um, that you use. And when I saw that you posted, I'm, I'm literally looking at it like, yeah, I mean, it like, come on. Like, you know what? You I keep, I keep telling everybody I got the fountain of youth in a bottle right here. Everybody keep asking me. I keep telling you. I can drill this over your head, knock you over the head with it 100 times. Bro, I will be 50, 60. I will look this good. I'm using this stuff daily right here, yo. I'm going to start chronicling my stuff. Listen, after this video, I'm going to put a chronicle of me using it for 10, 14 days so you guys can see what happens in two weeks. It's incredible. Love it. I definitely have to get that myself because remember I told you I was watching your videos all throughout the whole pandemic. I've definitely been on a fitness journey. And um, you said that the oil is really good for soreness. Like yeah, for sure. There's one called Reborn. It's the green one. So if you go on the website, uh, epmproducts.com, it's epmproductx.com, epmproducts.com. Go scroll down, go to the green one. That's the best one for um, like muscle and joint pain, um, any kind of like inflammation or any kind of discomfort you're having is great. Now, we recently just saw that you was with my girl, Kyla Pratt. Uh, our girl, I should say. There was a reuniting moment that happened. She came to support you at Harlem, um, at the Harlem event. Um, how was that? How was, I mean, uh, do you guys speak all the time or is that just our first time, like seeing y'all together in a long time? Do you guys get it more of a You know what's funny? It's like, you know, KP and I, uh, Kyla Pratt, KP, that's my girl. We just been together for a long time. She's like the very first person that I ever met in the industry because her and I had the same agent. So when I first got in the game, they were already trying to make a show for us. And by the time they made one-on-one, -on -one, I'd already worked with Megan. I was already on Cousin Skeet with Megan. But when we, when we finally made one-on-one, -on -one, I'd already been, what, like in the business for, I guess, four years at that point. But I, I stay in touch with her all the time. But I think whenever people see us out, it's just a rare sighting. Because she's always working. I'm always working. I'm always in different cities. Um, but when we get together, though, it's that chemistry and that big smile for us together. It's just like we, we yeah. made magic together. We grew up together. Kyle's always kind of like a little sister to me. I mean, yeah. I know we played boyfriend and girlfriend. And she was always like in Arnez's arms and all that kind of stuff. And um, all the stuff that went down on the show. But when we're together, I just think it's just great. And it's kind of the same chemistry that I have with, with Megan Good, too, because Right. We were playing like boy, boyfriend and girlfriend on, yeah. in high school on the show. And then and then now it's funny because I have a photo of the three of us together. I'm like, yo, that's, I'm with legends right here. Yes. Uh, well, you are a legend. Like, I mean, you guys have literally graduated. That's what I like to say. I like to say yeah. at every moment there's this shift that's happening right now. And you guys are in that shift of legendary status i mean y'all have been doing it for so many years and you know we appreciate you guys for entertaining us for so many years like you truly entertained us for many years so what are the roles that people recognize you for the most would you say because i mean it's many you are one of those actors that have that generational uh, success. So little kids recognize you from Disney, you know, then you have the teenagers that recognize you from many, I recognize you from everything. So, I mean, right. you know, how, how what, what are those roles that people most recognize you for? It's funny, because honestly, I think it's all across the board. I mean, there's, there's a certain, like, group of people especially all the athletes they're gonna go with coach carter every time oh. and then like the, the college kids they're always gonna mention like house of wax because that's what they're watching they're like you know watching horror movies trying to hook up in dorms you know that and and uh what's the other one we did uh the comebacks is another like sick it's a comedy sports comedy but it's very college oriented and then a lot of like the older people they know me from all the like acting stuff whether it be like um 
um, uh, 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 Once and Again, or or um, what's the other show? Damn, I'm drawing a blank right now. It's a great, great, great show. Um, but then, like, obviously, like, all our culture, everyone's looking at, like, one-on-one, Cousin Skeeter, Meet the Browns, all that kind of stuff. So uh, Vampire Diaries is also a huge one that everyone always brings up. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just kind of all over the board. I mean, I've played a lot of characters, and there's just been a, just a, a huge spectrum of the roles that I've played. Everything from, like, you know, playing Ziggy and Light It Up to playing, you know, even, like, in Kinky, I played, like, sort of like this businessman who's, like, trying to fall in love with this girl and trying things that he's never tried before. I sort of play a lot of stuff. So I just think it's, it's cool whenever people come up to me. I think that I have a great relationship with, with everybody, all my fans and stuff. People come to me at airports all the time, take big pictures together. So um, I just like to continue that going, man. It's very, very humbling. I, I like working hard, so it's good. I love that. And the fact that you continue to give back in a way of just letting people know, for one, uh, you wouldn't have been able to make it this far without health and wellness and, and putting those uh, good things into your body, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. um, a lot yeah. of people I know want me to ask you this question, one-on-one -on -one reboot. There's so many reboots that are happening right now. Have y'all spoke about it? Yeah, I know that um, Kyla and Flex have reached out and talked about it. I mean, I think it's great. You know, I love working with Kyla. She's, she's my girl. And I think we're just trying to figure out everyone's timing as far as projects. I mean, right now, Harlem is incredible. I mean, it is the show to be on right now. I mean, everyone loves this show. And, you know, it's for the culture, but everybody, like, all my neighbors down my street are like, yo, I watch this show. I binge watch it. And to think of that I'm on a show right now is number two on Amazon, which is big. If you haven't watched the show, do yourself a treat this holiday season. Watch Harlem on Prime. It's on Amazon Prime. And... You know, I think that everyone's just been to watch the show. It's a lot of kudos to, to Tracy Oliver for writing a show that has such big cliffhangers. And we've got Amy Poehler, who's a producer on the show. We've got uh, Pharrell Williams and all the other producers. And Scott, who's who's my guy who hired me. Um, I just, I'm very, very blessed to have him and thought that it was important to put me on the show. So shout out to Scott King. So. Absolutely. And you guys are really killing it. Like, I find when I'm watching the show, because, of course, yeah. I'll go back and rewatch it. And a lot of people have contacted me like, Steven, you're right. This show is it. Like, I'm, and I'm literally watching on my phone and I'm dancing while, you know, because the music is lit and it, it fits so well for the scenes as well. So the it, music is lit in the shade. The music, when we went to the premiere, <coughs> I think everyone was commenting on that. Like, you know, the show's great. Yeah. But the music is fire. It is. And a lot of times, though, it's hard to do good music with a show because like when you're making the show, the music that's hot, when the show comes out, the music's gonna be hot no more. They pick all the songs that's still like hot and relevant right now. It was, you know, shout out to our music producer and our music production guy. Like, right. they did a great, great, great music for the show. I mean, these are like even the hottest songs and I'm like, oh, they got that clear? Do you know how? Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking too. Right, I was right. like, like, oh, oh like, yeah. Yep. I'm like, yo, Pharrell must have got on the phone, like, yo, give me that. I'm about to sample that. I'm like, Exactly. Buddy. So that's, that's so amazing. Congratulations on all of your success. I am truly happy for you. And um, continue to create that lane because there's so many young boys that are coming behind you. And I'm sure you are, you have, you have paid the way, you know, um, for young actors that's coming behind you. So. Congrats. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing I'm doing a lot more classes now where I'm training a lot of other young people just on audition technique, which is like just, you know, booking. There's so much content out there today. Um, and, you know, there's Amazon, there's, you know, all the other platforms. And, you know, there's, everyone's got, you know, room to work right now. And I want everyone to be their best. And, you know, Megan told me, she goes, Rob, you have so many years left. So just, you know, keep that fire burning inside you. Keep that ambition. And, you know, we're all going to continue to work together for years to come. So... I'm just really, really excited of what's coming in the future because I've been at this for, what, 30 years now, and I got another 50 years in me. It's great. Absolutely, and you're definitely very youthful. Not that 40 years old, but just saying. I mean, we've seen so many people in the game that started where you started at the age where you started, and 
it, it's not easy and you know it's not easy so that perseverance that perseverance and the tenacity uh you you were very tenacious um I, I think of that all the time i think about the fact that like when i when i now where i'm at in my career this is where like sam jackson started that's incredible to me. Isn't that crazy? That's and like Sam has, I think, more movies than anybody on the planet right true. now. And I think that he started where I'm at right now. I'm like, all right, now it's time to really get to work. So I'm really, really excited about the future. And what also in the future, I'm, I'm hoping to get like that psychic ball to see if we can see into season two of Harlem. That, that's just what I want to see in the ball. Is that a discussion? <laughs> Yo, Harlem, they don't pull no punches in the show. They're doing everything, everything in the show. I'm like, I'm like, how do they get that cleared? But everybody's just loving all the things, yes. all the scenes, what they're about, what the characters say. Yeah. Uh, I just, I'm really, really fascinated with, with all the characters. You know, it's funny because they all have their different thing, like, you know, Megan Good's character, she's a professor, but then Whoopi Goldberg is telling her, like, you're not ready yet. And like that's just like, you know, since like that's how a lot of us feel we're in our careers. I'm like, I got a I got this accolade, this accolade, this award. You tell me that I'm not ready yet. And then, you know, the two other girls who uh Jerry's character and Shaniqua's character, they're like just no holds barred on what they're talking about. They say whatever's on their mind, every scene, no punches pulled. And then Quinn's character, who she's my favorite character, actually, she's just trying to figure out life. She's like, listen, I got a lot of people to make me feel like I, I'm reaching my potential. I have a lot of people that I got to make happy being like, I succeeded. And there's a lot of people in America who feel like that. They're like, I'm just figuring this thing out day by day, and I have so much pressure on me. And that's how Quinn's character is. And I love, I love Grace's character for that. I, I love that I'm with her character. Yeah, for sure. Have you ever had a moment in your career where you felt like you wanted to give up, or did, did someone ever, you know, did you ever want it, a group of people to believe in you and they didn't? How did you get through that? If so. Yeah, I mean, I think that we all had that moments in our career. I think for me, it was probably like right in like my early 20s because I had done the whole like teenage stuff. So I've been doing all the teenage stuff and all that kind of stuff. And then it was kind of like, we've got to wait for Rob to grow up to become a man. And so like, I'm like kind of in that in-between zone where I'm like not a kid anymore, but they don't see me as an adult. And it's like... Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like all that in between zone. I went through that for a while, and actually, it was it was Tyler Perry who actually you know looked out for me and put me on Meet the Browns and let me be sort of like this character that was working with uh, with with um, the, the the lead dude on Miss, Mr. Man's character, being like I'm gonna have some him be young but still with the adults, and that's actually a big big lookout. Shout out to Tyler for that. That was a great transition for sure. Um... Wow. Yeah, you've done a lot. You've done a lot. We need an award for you. <laughs> I mean, the Robert but, Richard Vanguard Award. <laughs> Vanguard Award, exactly. But you know what? The greatest gift of all is that you truly get to do what you love every day, to be healthy, to be happy, um, to be free, to be number two and soon to be number one on Amazon Prime um, streaming show. So, we have to continue to keep uh, streaming that. Also, um, I know that you're filming a project currently, right? Mm -hmm. um, will you be able to talk about that a little bit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, can't talk about that. No, I know, I know some stuff, but I won't tell them. I promise. You got to come back. <laughs> stay, stay tuned, everyone. It's good stuff too. Thank you so much. All right, you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Love Thank you guys. God bless. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy New Year. Twenty twenty two is. Here. Hey, subscribe now.